Hi, in this quick video, we would talk about how to do, or how to cut any numerical value into different groups. For example, in a patient's data, we would like to convert this into different age groups. Let's create some data first and we would actually create some data with patients ranging from age 0 to age 110 and we would like to create 100 such records so a data frame has been created we can see the patient has different age groups at random the name seems to be bit long let's convert this name so using this command i would like to call that field as age years let's see yes Okay, so this is the code which will create the age groups. These age groups or the labels are standard labels which are used in most of the medical data. So if you are happy with this, you can use that. Otherwise, you can use the same technique to create your own groups. So I'm using the patient's age years field or the column which we created, this one, and would like to break them into five years each. So hence you can see five, 10, 15, 20 as the, as the breaks. And then we have the minus infinity and infinity, which goes anything above 85 would be lumped into 85 plus years. Anything below five would be lumped into zero to four years. So we got our groups created. Now, one more important thing in this is that there's a command for write equals false. There's also an option to use right equals true. In that case, the rightmost limit would be included in the in, in, in your age groups. For example, you notice that our age group is five to nine years, not five to ten years. So when we encounter ten, it'll go to the next age group, which is ten to fourteen years old. Let let me try another way to explain this. I'm calling it as age group true, and I'm going to change right equals true. Let's see what it does for us. Okay, you can see that another age group has been created, but if you notice the age five, instead of going to the next one, it has gone to zero to four years. So the best thing is to use right equals false. So I'll remove this off and here is the final code and make sure that you use right equals false. Otherwise you will have to change your labels accordingly. Let me try plotting it. So I'll call library ggplot and then run this little chart. Okay, here we go. We have our age groups and number of patients in each age group. Notice that 85 years is a very big group because anything from 85 to 110 years has been lumped into this age group. That's why it, it is very high in terms of the numbers. 
So with that, we come to the end of this video. Hope you found this code useful. Please support us by subscribing to our channel and see you in the next video. Thank you.